who have walked into a grocery store and been confused by various labels you've seen ranging from um, organic to all natural to free range to even conventional. We've all been there. Um, now, how many of you assume that when you see an organic label on a product, it's automatically better for um, the environment and for our bodies? A lot of us are surrounded by these labels without truly understanding what they mean. Today, I'm going to be talking about the unexamined side of organic, which is mainly focusing on the larger carbon footprint that is left after, that is going on uh, as a result of these organic farming practices. It might sound like I'm completely against organic food and other organic products, but I'm not at all. Uh, organic farming and organic products have a lot of benefits. Uh, but I do think it's important to be completely informed on the topic and understand the decisions that we're making as opposed to just going into it blindly. So the debate has always been organic farming versus conventional farming without ever looking at anything in between to potentially look at the benefits from one practice over another and combine to make something that will yield the best outcome for both our health and the environment. So let's first address what it means to be um, USDA organic. I'm sure several of us have seen this stamp on many products in the store. Um, the USDA is the governing body for certifying all the organic products and foods um, that we have. So they, and in order to be certified organic, you have to adhere to the following principles. Um, products have to preserve natural resources and biodiversity. They have to support animal health and welfare. They have to provide access to the outdoors so that animals um, can exercise in their natural behaviors. They have to only use approved materials. Um, they cannot use geni genetically modified ingredients. They have to receive annual on-site inspections. And they have to keep the organic food separate from the non-organic food. So these are some fairly rigorous steps that have to be taken uh, in order to be certified organic. And they can cost the farmers anywhere from a couple hundred to a couple thousand dollars to go through this process. So it's at times really not feasible for several um, different farms to go through. Conventional foods, on the other hand, um, have much fewer regulations. However, they still must pass, still must pass um, the test and be under a certain threshold of pesticides when testing the various produce. So contrary to popular belief, there are still standards that they have to go through. So in the media and amongst conversations that I'm sure we've all overheard or that we've all had, that buying organic is the best way to improve both our health and the environment. Or we've heard something along those lines. Suburban moms are forking over the extra money in order to provide their children for the best health and the best environment. Um, however, when we're examining organic foods from an environmental perspective, uh, there may not, they may not actually be much better than conventional foods. Um, one of the reasons for this is a smaller crop yield. Due to the fact that organic farms do not use the same pesticides that conventional farms use, they have a smaller crop yield. It's been found that um, organic farms have to use, would have to use twice the amount of crop land as opposed to conventional farms in order to get the same yield. Um, this acreage that is being used um, in order to get a larger crop size is taking away from um, the habitat of animals in the area, as well as leading to more deforestation, um, thus increasing the carbon footprint of this organic of this organic farming process. Um, Dr. Hannah Tumisto, who works at the European Commission um, Joint Research Center in Italy, says that the carbon that says that the um, greenhouse gas emissions of organic and conventional farming are quite similar when, com when comparing per unit of product. On the one hand, conventional farming um, uses more agriculture inputs such as pesticides and fertilizers, while, con while organic farming has more usage of fuel at the farm. Organic foods are being presented as substantially better for the environment, but they actually contain these somewhat unknown side effects um, and that go unnoticed in our daily discussion when we're thinking about these products. So when you're thinking about what products you want to spend your extra money on, you can think about the impact that they have on the environment. Um, a meta-analysis conducted by researchers from Canada's McGill University in partnership with professors from the University of Minnesota found that grains and vegetables were the worst when it comes to um, environmental impact coupled with organic farming. They produce 33% less product and are 26% less productive. And organic fruits and vegetables can cost anywhere from 13 to 36 cents more per pound compared to their conventional counterparts. This is especially important for those of us who are on budgets in college and wanting to make an impact on the environment. 
Um, we need to be thinking about where we're choosing to put our money and how that's supporting things. So as I stated earlier, I'm not against, against organic food products. I think they do phenomenal things, um, but I think it's vital for us to understand the process that they go through. Um, organic foods have lower crop yields and thus require more space, creating a larger carbon footprint. However, conventional foods also have the drawbacks caused by pesticides, um, which can get into our water supply, for example, and create even more problems. So we need to seek to merge the best aspects of organic farming with um, conventional farming to create a hybrid. Um, the lower usage of pesticides from organic farming coupled with the efficiency of conventional farming can create a system that's better for both our health and our environment.